we're going to start off and start with a circle right in the middle of the paper. Cube. We'll go somewhat big, somewhat small. I'm just kind of going with the whim of things, see what I can create. <clears throat> now we're going to have his, um, we'll say this line. There's, there's another name for it. Well, spectral line, X, Y axis, um, whatever the case. And we'll do the other one to where he's looking. So we've got a big ball, kind of like a basketball going on here, top of his head. Okay, from in these marks, these are going to be his eyes. Same about mount, we'll say that's his nose. Down from that, mouth. Got a nice little lineup of what's going on. His eyes, I mean that's eyes, well, yeah, his eyes do stop up here. So we'll go ahead and do some eyes. That'd be cool. Um, and Pluto's eyes, like a lot of the Disney characters, there are ovals, big ovals, and they're connected together. Let's see, there's two ovals. Um, those are known a lot for the two eyes uh, kind of jumping out and have like a big wheel burning from behind them for um, motorsports a lot. You see them all the time. And we'll go do a half ovals inside. That's his pupils. Now let's work with tartan black. And we're going to go ahead and bring out so we get a nose out here. Okay, we just got eyes on a ball right now. Now we want a nose. So kind of uh, think of think of a hot dog a really <laughs> a really giant hot dog You're like how is this going to look like Pluto I don't know it doesn't even look like Pluto right now doesn't it that one bit and for down from that let's see um, I'll say probably about right here from the eye but uh, not half maybe about a third into uh, that's where it's going to be his mouth where it comes through so we need to have the bottom of his mouth come through here All right that might be a little bigger that's a kind of like a duck nail uh, we'll give him a little chin go ahead and do that bring it up just to play with and we're gonna talk let's just make a little black nose that actually kind of humps backwards kind of looks like a balloon is sitting on top of his his nose and we'll do a little circle see like a raindrop and from there let's go ahead and so put a line right there that way he's marked up with this which should, should come right here we want those to match let's make his eyebrows so it's very very basic it's kind of outlined from the eyes that you have like, ooh. And I should have made this a little bit smaller. I went way too high up. Because his ears were going to be standing up. But I can't do that now. Because it's going to be off the paper. Nobody wants to see that. And he's kind of got like a bump on the back of his head. So, let's see. We've got these. We've got his little bump. where his e And this is going to be where his ears are at. You just put like a little backward C. Right there. And we will, actually, I'm sorry, not backward. Let's do a giant, uh, actually, like this. Let's do a giant C. And um, line right there. This, we're going to bring down more, because I went way too short on. Bring down the mouth. Bring out the chin. Yep. And we're going to make a neck. See, that's going to be his neck. Oh, sorry, bopping the camera. And we're going to make his leash right here. Mr. Pluto. Alright, so let's make this look a little bit more like Pluto. So we got the ears, but I can't go straight up. In that case, and because here we go, we'll go ahead and do his back of his head like that. And we'll go ahead and do that. So, go ahead and go straight down with his ears like this. Woo! Looks like a carrot coming out. See, we'll put some lettuce right there. I meant lettuce. <laughs> Greenery. I think that is a big carrot coming out of it, his head. So, this is his one ear. 
And we'll do, I don't know, because he always listens with his ears. That's how you can kind of pick up what he's saying. So he, you know, he uses movements to talk to you. So we'll put one ear up like that. Just like if you were to put your hand over your ear, do the Hulk Hogan. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, brother? Okay, enough of that. Um, we're gonna go back up to the face, and we're gonna go and get this nose more together. I got kind of a traditional and new version going. So, follow the line right here to come around with the mouth, and we're gonna put this part connected to it, and bring the lines around. We're gonna do a humps, and it's usually around hmm, three, four, four humps right there. And we're going to bring this down, open his mouth up, and there we go, get a nice little square mouth, a circle or weird mouth. And we're going to make a tongue sticking out, because he's a happy doggy. Happy, happy, happy. Oh. He has a big old chin on it, so you just put this first off where to open his mouth. And then we're going to use this to come around. I know it's hard to tell right now because I've got this so much scribble scrabble everywhere. Uh, and it's not exactly like the one I thought was going to come out, but it will do. It will do. This is a funny looking goofy. Which is perfect because it's always about making you laugh when it comes to these cartoons. You want to laugh all the time. As much as often as you can, it makes you feel so much better. And cartoons, that's why I love cartoons. That's why I've always grown up watching cartoons. It's a natural way of making your body feel great. Without having to do anything else, all you gotta do is laugh. Right? So we got kind of our Pluto here. He's all kind of happy. Um, I even kind of darkened it already before using my 7B. And now I'm going to go ahead and darken it in so everybody can see. And we can kind of get a better idea of what's going on. And I might even change it some. Oh no, please don't break on me. I'm using a 7B, so it's um, going to be a lot darker for you to see. But as you know, the lead's very soft. It can just break off and go everywhere. I can smudge all over the place doing this. So I try to do my best for not breaking it for you to be able to see what's going on before uh, I might have to sharpen it. I don't want to sharpen it. Oh, it's like cracking on me. Yeah, it's not happy with me. I'm not happy with you. Ah! And that shows right there. Okay, so I am just going to go ahead and change up because of time and use a different one. Or I'm going to pull out my 3B. That's not going to break on me. It, um, I, that's a trusty one. 3B, everybody knew it has a 3B. So, go ahead and turn his nose black with a little dot. Boop. Get his humps over for his nose. Yep, see his mouth? His mouth is appearing now. Go ahead and darken that in. Get his chin. Like, whoa, I'm happy. I'm one happy doggy. Put the eyes down. Anyway, color his pupil. Woo! Yeah. All right? There he is. He's coming together. And actually, his hump would be like this. Bring that around. Darken that up. Darken your black carrot up. His carrot ear. Uh, good nutrition for his eyeballs. Uh, which is odd because I had carrots all my life, yet my eyes still got bad. <laughs> so you can't always go by what they say. Saying that you should eat carrots because they'll make sure you won't lose your eyesight. Well, in my case that didn't work so well. Yet carrots are yummy. Uh, I think they're yummy. So I don't know where I got it on. We'll call, go ahead and change that from carrots. And we're almost there, right? 
Now I can't really tell, it looks somewhat like Goofy. Maybe it looks like a Goofy Goofy. Um, sorry, Pluto. Which is something that everybody seems to get thrown off sometimes because you're thinking Goofy and Pluto look very similar yet apparently they're not connected. I don't know. I, don't, I don't, still don't understand that. I'm guessing Goofy's supposed to be a dog too. Um, put your suggestion now what you think Goofy might be. If you think Goofy's a dog as well or if he's something else. If he's like Gonzo from from the Muppets and he's some alien. <laughs> I don't think he's an alien, but you never know. And they always had the cartoons in the past. Uh, I would remember watching and it kind of demonstrate. Goofy would always demonstrate how to do something not right, or how how to do something right from not doing it wrong. I mean, and uh, he would constantly mess up and that was a silly part but there, all of them it was funny because the society was all goofies it was just constant goofies everybody looked the same they had different clothes on or they had different expressions but they were all goofy and i think that's why i liked goofy so much because there was he was throwing at me it's all the time he had goofy this goofy that and i thought it was comical and whatnot so we got pluto yay pluto Good old Pluto, right?